Okay, now uh, this morning, uh, our class, our lecture will be mainly concerning your assignments. Okay, uh, we will go a little deeper into it so that every one of you uh, got a very clear view of actually what you need to do uh, to do well in this course, AT 20503. Okay. So this is what we are very clear of already. Huh? And I'm going to go through each and every one of them in a bit more detail. Okay, for your first assignment, you are preparing a proposal. So today, your tutors, okay, now they have already, I can, I can see that all of you, or majority of you, have already submitted your Tugasan. And that was your title as well as your pernyataan masalah, your problem statement. Okay, very good. For every one of you who have submitted in time, congratulations. That's very good. Okay, now that is the beginning. So comments have been given to you by the tutors and you follow the rules and the condition. Okay, so you're supposed to then this week on prepare the proposal okay and the date of submission will be 4th of december now for research proposal the rubric okay so last week we mentioned that for your research proposal as long as you have all these components then you are on the right track so for example there must be a research title okay and then the title must be related to ah, your program as well as Industry 4.0. Okay, the two must be there. Now, uh, you give an introduction, you give the background of the study, then you give the problem statement. Ah, that's what you were doing already. Okay, then the objective of the study from there itself, you form the research question and some of you will also add hypotheses. Uh, you give the significance of the study, the research methodology, literature review, uh -huh, limitation of the study, and then your references. So as long as your proposal got all these components, uh, you should have no problem doing well. Okay. Of course, you must follow and comply to the command given by the tutors. Okay, you can do it in English because we're having international students over here. And you can also do it in Bahasa Malaysia, whichever one, no problem. Okay, now this is the uh, more detailed, comprehensive way that myself as well as the tutors will be grading you. So be very, pay attention, okay? Now, uh, the English version will be given uh, in the few days' time. This is in Bahasa Malaysia. For those who are from uh, international students, the English version will be given to you. Now, the first thing is considering your title. So, for your proposal, uh, when you submit it on the 4th of December, the way we give marks, okay, we look at the title. Adakah jelas menarik minat mempunyai scope atau fokus kajian yang jelas dalam tajuk? Which means uh, that is it clear? Is it, a, is it attractive? Is it able to menarik minat? Is it able to attract attention, interest? Okay. And does it have the scope and the focus of the study clearly stated in your title? Easily you can get two marks there. Okay. Easily. Now, please remember, this is a research. It is not writing essay, you know. So, essay title could be different. <laughs> okay. Anyway, pemasalan kajian, problem statement, six marks. Oh. Bagian ini menerangkan apakah isu masalah yang ingin dikaji dalam pendidikan. Uh, so, this portion uh, explain concerning the problem that you intend to investigate in your research. Shalom perlu menjelaskan mengapa kajian tersebut perlu dijalankan. 
berasaskan hujah dan bukti yang berkaitan. So, the candidate, calon is candidate, student, okay? You need to clarify, menjelaskan, clarify why this study need to be conducted. Why must it be conducted? And it need to be based on, berdasarkan, uh, it's based on evidences, citation. So, please remember, permasalahan kajian ini, in your promise statement, uh, you must not be giving only your own opinion. But you must also be uh, bringing in that this particular problem, okay, as stated by uh, blah, 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 in the year 2008 example. Okay, so you must bring in uh, other citation, other evidences of what other people say that this is indeed a problem. Okay, either in answers, in komunikasi, or in penjarasan Islam. And then there are also online kajian or even project to hypothesis kajian. Okay, so your bagian ini mengandungi soalan yang hendak dijawab dalam kajian. Soalan kajian biasanya dibina berdasarkan objektif kajian dan perlu mempunyai kaitan dengan pernyataan masalah. Okay, so what is the question that should be answered in your research? You want to know whether you know your question, your research question is correct or not? You just relate it to the objective of your study. You just relate it to the problem statement of your study. All of them must be related. Then you are not wrong. Understand? Some of you, uh, some seniors, you know, they put the problem statement about something and then later on, the objective is something else. So it must be related. Objective kajian, okay, must be, it must be specific, it must be measurable, huh? it must be realistic, huh? it must be bersesuaian dengan tempo kajian. You know, when uh, it must be uh, so-called uh, sesuai, okay, appropriate to the time that you want to do the particular research. Of course, this is a proposal, okay. And when you say proposal, hey, the proposal can be very, very aggressive. You can be very, very ambitious. You're not doing a real research out of this, okay? But you propose. So whatever, uh, that means the time frame uh, is, you can be uh, one month, it can be one semester, it can even be one year. But this is a proposal, uh, okay? Uh, you will not be running it, okay? And then, uh, importance of your kajian, okay? The importance, the significance, okay? Uh, here in detail, you mentioned what is the impact of this study, okay? What is the benefit of this study? The result of this study, how will it affect, how will it benefit the organization? How will it affect the society, masyarakat? How will it affect the country, the nation, how will it affect the agencies, related agencies, okay? How will it affect perkembangan ilmu, the development of knowledge, okay? In the field that you are investigating. So, in the field of penderasan Islam, when you do this particular study, okay, how does it actually contribute to the, your own field? Similarly to all of you. Okay, uh, methodology kajian. So here we talk about the uh, research design. Okay, your methods, your instrument, the tools that you use. So here got 10 marks. Uh, uh, here you talk about, you know, uh, how you uh, justify the type of materials you're using, uh, the type of theoretical framework you're using, the type of... Uh, Recommend to experiment, your experimental design, okay? The type of uh, method, okay? The type of uh, maybe even statistical analysis, okay? Uh, so that you can meet the objective of this research. So that you are able to eventually get data so that you can answer the question of your research. 
And then the materials and methods, okay, that are being used uh, need to be uh, terangkan. Uh, it need to be clarified. It need to be explained, okay, in depth, mendalam, and tepat, exact, specific. Uh. Rujukan, which means references uh, for your methods and procedures, okay, is also mentioned. Sorotan literature, ah, so 50 marks, oh, there's a lot. Okay. Now, by the way, all these uh, have been confirmed, discussed, okay, together with your three tutors and myself. So, for section four, we will use this one. Other section, they may be using other rubric. But for ours, uh, under the help of your tutors, okay, you'll be using this rubric. So for literature review in Jawan literature, uh, it merupakan penulisan yang critical dan analytical tentang penulisan ilmiah yang telah diterbitkan oleh sejarah dan penyelidik, penyelidik tentang topik yang dikaji. So depending on your topic, okay, that has been investigated, that has been experimented upon by other researchers, by other scholars. Okay. Ah, so this is the place where you do reading. You need to read, read, read. Okay, and then those that are appropriate ah, to the particular problem, those that are appropriate maybe to the theory of your study, those that are appropriate okay, to your intervention, bring them in here. Okay, but please remember it is just, just copy, paste, copy, paste, copy, paste. Okay, uh, it will be actually uh, be critical and analytical. That means, you know, you say that uh, this particular study is related to your problem statement, okay? And it could be a solution to this particular problem. However, uh, another researcher, okay, says otherwise. So you can state and why, okay? This simple statement like this, you know, uh, there are many different researchers in the world for the same topic, and there might be different results. So they might clash. There might be a conflict. I bring them in, okay? Things like that, and then that's why there is a gap. There must be a reason why there's a conflict there, okay? So you want to investigate it, okay? So all in all, your literature review must be aligned to your problem statement. Penyelesaian sorotan mesti selari dengan permasalahan kajian. In line. So, so is it correct or not? Should I use this? Can I include this or not? Hey, the way to measure it, to under, to explain it is, uh, is it related to your problem statement? Is it related to your objective? Uh, things like that. To your question. <coughs> Too much for scope kajian. So, your as long as you mention, you know, that uh, this study, okay, uh, is actually investigating, considering the population uh, in UMS. Uh, there you are. There's a limitation already. Okay. It's only uh, using the data collected from students in UMS. Or maybe you can even zoom in, make it narrower, you know, that... Uh, how is this effect on second year students of communicate program communication in UMS? So there you are, there's a limitasi already. So as long as you state things like this, you know, uh, we understand, you know, that when you do research, whatever result that you obtain, it is only true, only true for that population. You tak boleh umumkan, you cannot generalize, you know, uh, that you do a study and says, you know, well, WhatsApp uh, has been found to be very useful to increase engagement uh, in learning among students in UMS. And you say this, you know, that it can, it's true also for the whole world. It may not be, okay? It may be true only for a particular population. Rumusan, you know, give a conclusion, okay? Uh, 
for your proposal, uh, rejokan, references, use APA style, and that's why the tutors will help you, okay, to correct you, okay, and you follow the format, the correct format. Okay, all these add up 50 marks, and if you meet all these criteria, and you comply to the rules and the condition of your tutor, then you can get 25 marks, okay? So, I strongly feel that every one of you will be able to do well here. Okay. Now, uh, there is a problem. And afterwards, you know, we will be talking about this. And it will also be discussed by your tutor. Okay. The tajo, the title, many of you, it is too general. Now, when you do a research, you need to be specific as possible. Okay? So, whether it's quantitative or qualitative, you try to be specific. So, when you mention just IR 4.0, oh, IR 4.0, there's a lot of things there, kind. Huh? All kind of uh, mega trends of physical, biological, and so many other things inside there. So, try to be specific. Okay? Uh, afterwards, we will do an activity and then we will also respond, you know, to the, the one in the chat where many of you mentioned, you know, what is your favorite game, you know, and so on. Uh, what are the effects of this game? What are the issues there? What are the problems there? Uh, Nanti, uh, uh, we discuss. Okay. So, can those games that you people are playing until 3 a.m., 4 a.m., not sleeping until now, are these all related to IR 4.0? Are they related to 3.0? Many of you just now in the chat group have mentioned yes. Indeed, yes. Huh? So, what are the IR 4.0 gadget, you know, devices that you are using today? Hey, they can be used as part of your proposal, isn't it? And it's easier for you. Uh, instead of very general, you know, effect of IR 4.0 on this or on that, very general. Huh? But it must be related to your program, that's all. Okay, so I hope you all are very clear and you should be able to do well. Huh? Now, literature review. Okay. Uh, Izam, can you just uh, respond? Are you able to follow? Yes, bro. Good. Okay. I'm now in rubric concerning literature review. And this one is 25 marks. And this one will be your group assignment. Okay. So today I'm going to, in detail, the rubric that we are going to use to give you the grade. So today you get an overall picture on how you can get an A. Okay. So your tutors will also be using all these guidelines together. Now, in your literature review, it is 25 marks. Now, to get the 25 marks, this is the way that we will grade you. Very simple. Number one, setiap objective dikembangkan dengan sorotan yang sesuai. Your literature review, okay, must be related to your objective of your study. As long as it's related there, okay, easily. Okay, 12 marks out of 50, eh? Penulisan sorotan yang selari dengan masalah kajian. As long as your literature review that you cite this, you cite that, you know, is related to your problem statement. Problem statement. Pecahan subtopik yang jelas dan terdapat perkembangan perbincangan. So, your literature review, you know, there could be other sub sub subtopic inside there. Okay. Example, uh, some of you are investigating concerning uh, a particular League of Legends, okay, and how it affects the behavior of aggressiveness among students in UMS. Some people are reporting that many young people are getting very aggressive, very violent. Hey, is this related to those violent games that they're playing online? Example. Uh, then when you do, you know, this uh, literature review on a uh, uh, serious game or on those online games or all those uh, 
MMORPG, massive multi uh, online role playing games. Then there'll be a shop, you know, on uh, educational game, uh, violence in games, and, and all those things, aggressiveness in games. So they are sub sub topic related, related. Huh? Tapi menghubungkan aspek yang sorot dengan model teori yang berkaitan. So you try to uh, relate, okay, to models or theories that are related. Now, kaedah penulisan mengikut you use the style uh, UMS, okay, APA style. Uh, rumusan keturunan berkaitan, so give a conclusion, give the reference, and then your format, okay, and Ketepatan masa penghantaran. If they give you, if the tutor give you a particular date, by that date it must be submitted. If you don't submit by that day, you are late, then you lose that one mark. Even though one mark, but it can mean a lot, you know. Okay, so dear students, uh, literature review again. Now all these are not new to you. You already have done something related to research in your year one, either semester one or semester two, okay? Uh, in the co co uh, communication students, they have done uh, Kaedah Penjelidikan in Komunikasi and then in Ansos and also in Pendarasan Islam. Uh, you, uh, you did it also in your other courses to do with literary, was it academic writing or something else? And also some other methodology you are doing now. Okay, they're all related. All related. Okay, and then you're supposed to present literature review. Huh? So this is 20%, okay? And it'll be somewhere in January and February. And the way that we will give you your marks, this will be 20%, okay? Now, when you prepare it, okay, you can prepare it in a PowerPoint or any other platform that you feel is very helpful uh, to make it clearer. So, disampaikan dengan jelas dan yakin. When you present, you are very confident and it is very clear. You can present, of course, uh, in a group of five people. You can be one person, represent all, or everyone, two people, represent all, or three, or all, depending on your style, depending on your creativity and innovativeness. Slide yang tersusun mengikut sorotan. If you prepare a uh, PowerPoint slides, then you know make sure that there is a particular uh, sequence to it. Uh, menepati masa again, you know uh, the deadline that we give follow. Uh, dapat menjawab soalan dengan baik. We have questions for you, then you need to answer them appropriately. If the questions coming from other group, you must answer them appropriately. Now, uh, later on, your tutor will explain to you again. During this time, when you do your uh, presentation, okay, uh, usually people do it face-to-face -face when things are under normal condition. But we are now doing remotely. All of us are at home, okay? So we can do it two ways. One is live session, and then, you know, we are listening to you. Okay, and then we give you a question, you answer. Shouldn't give you a question, you answer. Another way is you do a recording. And then that recording, which is about 10 minutes, you put it into our smart retreat, and then we give you the question. Okay, now the way that we are proposing, because of the uh, technical, in case of technology failure, okay, so we are proposing to be fair to everybody, all of you can do your recording. Next week, I will show you how to do recording, okay? Different ways. And then, uh, after you're recorded, you share it to Smart V3. Then, if you are, let's say you belong to A1, okay? Then, uh, the A1 will have one uh, proposal, okay? Uh, one uh, Sorotan literature that is in-depth study, and then one presentation. Okay, so from A1. A2, there are five people, five of you must come and comment in the Smart V3. Okay, so similarly, uh, you are the A2 people, uh, your presentation, your Smart V3, that time we'll put it there. Okay, 
then the B1 will come and command. So similarly, it will go around like, like this. So we will make arrangement for you. Kerja berpasukan, we want to see that there is a team uh, spirit there. Collaboration is taking place, cooperation is taking place. So you got to show us, you know, how you use whatever you use, Telegram, how you use whatever means, you know, to collaborate among yourself. Uh, penampilan, creativity, uh, rujukan lengkap, and following the format, you know, and technicalities, and your language must be correct. Okay, and there will be 40 marks and it will be divided by 2, 20%. Okay. Okay. Now, this is a mysterious one that people are asking quiz. What kind of a quiz would that be? It's 30 marks. And this will be individual. Okay. Somewhere in 5th of February, you'll be going to sit for this quiz. This is the real example of quiz in AT 20503. Okay. The time given is 40 minutes. And for example, you are supposed to answer three questions from section A and two questions from section B. Now, let's see what kind of questions uh, that can come out. It's not MCQ. It is not objective question. It's not multiple choice, but short essay answer. Short essay answer. So, example, pada pendapat anda, mengapakah penting bagi pelajar universiti didetakan dengan pengetahuan revolusi industri 4.0? Why is it important for university students to be exposed to the knowledge of Industrial Revolution 4.0. Can you answer that? <laughs> Number two. Jelaskan tiga impact utama megatrends sebagai mewujudkan teknologi baru dalam revolusi industri 4.0. Describe the three main impacts of megatrends as new technologies created in the fourth industrial revolution. All these have been covered in the first three weeks. Bincangkan secara ringkas kesan revolusi industri 4.0 ke atas masyarakat. Discuss briefly the impact of for industrial revolution okay, upon the society. Okay, so do you think these are questions come up? Is it okay for you? Ruzaidi? You think soalan seperti pagi ni boleh dijawab oleh pelajar tak? Boleh, Prof. Boleh. Boleh lah. Okay, yeah. Okay. So, all the notes, you know, and all the slides that we have used, all the videos, you just look at your own video, I think you're able to answer all of them already. Okay. Now, please remember, uh, this kind of open question, uh, uh, you are university students. Okay. Why is it important? Your opinion. Okay. So, should be no problem. Huh? It is not just uh, remembering something, you know, and then they're pouring it up. So, all these are common sense also. Aha. Uh -huh. Bahagian B. So, this IR 4.0 dan kaeda pendelidikan. Okay. Research methodology. So, question, for example, answer any two here. Apakah yang dimasukkan dengan metodologi penyelidikan? Apakah yang membezakannya dengan kaedah penyelidikan? What is research methodology? How does it differ from research methods? Number two, bincangkan sebab-sebab mengapa sorotan literature dianggap sebagai langkah pertama untuk menjalankan sesuatu projek penyelidikan. Discuss the reasons why doing literature review is the first step of conducting a research project. So, you should be able to answer this. Huh? Uh, number three, bandingkan pendekatan pendidikan kualitatif, kuantitatif, dan keadaan campuran. Compare the quantitative, qualitative, and mixed method research strategies. Now, all these uh, related to, of course, 820503, okay, and also related to your other courses concerning research methodologies, okay? So, 
Okay, I think you should be happy, okay? You should be happy here. Okay. Feedbacks. Matlum balas. <coughs> now, until yesterday, uh, this is what I have. This is from our smart uh, V3 and under tutor Miss Asri, there were 79. Okay, uh, this morning I'm not sure how many. Uh, Miss Najia, 82, and Mr. Hanif, 79 people have all submitted. Congratulations, very good. Okay, now so the note given there was please submit according to the rules and conditions provided by your tutors. So, the tutors have mentioned certain things to you, then you are supposed to comply to the standard. Uh, all students must view and take necessary action to comply with the feedback comments provided. Okay, this second line I just added yesterday night for you. Whatever it is, the comment that is given by your tutor, please read them. Don't just don't just leave it aside, but uh, take action. Okay, when you do your proposal. Please provide your full name, metric, program, and group, no problem. So, congratulations, you are done to those who have submitted. I'm now going to look at some examples, okay? And afterwards, uh, your tutors will be also make attempts to present, okay, uh, some brief report. But here I'm going to give you a very uh, some samples, some example as an example for us to discuss. Okay. So from Miss uh, Najia's group. Okay. So I take away the name. So somebody uh, give a tajuk Pengaruh Revolution Industry, Pengaruh Revolution Industry for Pajero Terhadap Social dan Economy. Okay. And uh, perintah and masalah, so that person gave uh, this particular uh, problem statement. Okay, and then your tutor gave the remark. So, for example, uh, tutor Miss Tajia says, Tajuk terlampau umum. He says the title is too general. There you are. That's what I meant just now, right? I mean, it's specific. Khususkan social dari segi apa? Ekonomi dari segi apa? So you mentioned concerning social and economy. Now that is very broad, isn't it? So what aspect of uh, social, what aspect, what economical aspect? Just mention it. Cari topik atau isu yang lebih berkaitan dengan bidang kajian ansos dan dikaitkan dengan revolusi industri. So your tutor here uh, is mentioning to this particular title, pick a title, okay, or issue, okay, that is related with your unsourced program, okay, and you relate it to revolution industry. So try to comply, you know, with this particular one. Huh? Then your Miss. Nadia also says, guna I-R-A-N. Your tutors introduce to you the model, ideal, I, ideal, uh, R for reality, A for akibat, N for niat. Okay? So, your permasalahan uh, kajian kurang jelas dan masih kabur. You say your problem statement uh, is still not clear. Blur. Masih kabur. Dan tidak berkaitan dengan tajuk kajian dan bidang kajian anda. He says that you know, your problem statement is not clear, it is blur, it is uh, not related to your uh, title, your research title. And not related to your field okay, of study. Again, elak ayat persoalan dalam uh, permasalahan kajian. So, you say, avoid putting question in your problem statement. Ayat persoalan. Okay. Another example. Okay. Uh, the title is, Pengaruh Industri Revolusi 
4.0 dan kesan kepada jabatan PDRM di Malaysia. In English, it means uh, the impact of Industrial Revolution 4.0 and its effect on the police force in Malaysia. PDRM is related to, is that the police force? Okay. Masalah kajian mengurangkan kadar jenayah di Malaysia. So the problem statement reduce to reduce okay crime rate in Malaysia. Full stop. Dear student, whoever is this student lah, ayo yo apa ini? You see, you give this ah as your title and masalah uh, perintah masalah. Huh? No no no. Okay. So look, listen to the comment given. Okay, so is it some of you give this set of uh, of work, you know, for your tutors? So Miss Najia says, "Tajuk terlalu umum. Your title is too general. The scope and focus kajian kamu ini terlalu umum juga. Your scope and the focus of your study is also very general. Saya tidak dapat bagi tajuk kamu. I cannot improve your title. She don't know how to improve it." Sebab saya tidak nampak masalah kajian yang kamu mau kaji ini. Miss Najia is saying, I cannot help improve this title because I cannot see. Saya tidak nampak. I cannot see the problem that of your study. Okay? The one that you want to study. What is the problem? I cannot see it here. Okay. So, uh, please, you have to investigate. Uh, to redo it okay especially for your proposal now so you got to base upon this recommendation ini bukan masalah kajian di mana isunya so you know you just state you know to reduce uh, crime rate in malaysia miss najia is saying this is not a problem statement okay uh, what is the issue Lebih baik kamu rujuk atau minta pendapatan kawan-kawan kamu dan buat pembacaan syaratan kajian-kajian lepas sebab banyak kajian yang kamu boleh buat berkaitan bidang komunikasi itu sendiri. So, Ms. Zadia, is recommendation given over here is better for you okay, to make some reference atau or you get the opinion from your friends. Okay. And you do literature review, pembacaan sorotan kajian-kajian lepas. Look at other studies done related to this area, okay? And you bring it, okay? And relate it to bidang komunikasi. Now, this student is from bidang komuni program komunikasi. Huh? That's why she says it must be now related to your program komunikasi. Uh, dear students, when you do your proposal, uh, you know, if this kind of uh, outline uh, result that you give to the tutor, you may fail, you know. Okay? So please be careful. Another example. Okay. Now, this one, okay, I, the name is put over there. Okay? We allow it because uh, just now that one, it, the name could actually imply to many, many people. Okay, now this one is by uh, Ruzaidi, Mohamed Ruzaidi bin Yusuf. Okay, congratulations, Ruzaidi. Okay, uh, your the tutor say diterima dan boleh teruskan pelajaran proposal. So whatever that you show here, it is accepted, and now you can go on with your proposal. Okay, that means a complete proposal. Your tajuk kajian, the title. Keberkesanan pembelajaran atas talian sepanjang tempoh Perintah Kawalan Pergerakan PKP terhadap mahasiswa Universiti Malaysia Sabah di PITAS. So, this particular title by Rizaiti, it says that, you know, what is the effect of online learning during the MCO, the Movement Control Order PKP, upon... UMS students living in PITAS. So you can see, you know, that she limited to the students 
living in a particular location beat us. The limitation is there. Limitation again, UMS students. Okay? And the focus is concerning ah, online learning. And the problem was MCO. Okay. So, you know, all these are related. And this is the one that is given by Rizaidi. Okay, on the tajo, on the title, as well as the problem statement. And he puts it very clearly in four different paragraphs. And each paragraph is related to the Iran model. So your tutor have mentioned the first part, yes, related to the ideal of Iran. Okay. Online learning. Indeed, you know, is uh, very useful to support continual uh, education, okay, and the benefit of uh, online learning. The reality, okay, so you mentioned, uh, so you put it right there, uh, citation is missing, yeah. So please remember, you know, that uh, whatever statement that is not from you by other people, you put citation, you know, Ahmad 2020. Okay, then later on in the reference, you mentioned it's from where. Okay, let's be honest. Okay, no problem. Okay, and then, uh, okay, so in reality, and then Akibatnia, the result, okay, and then the Niat. So, as long as all these uh, four items, as explained by your tutors, are there, then it should be no problem. 